Welcome back. This month is Hispanic Heritage Month and an important tool for the Hispanic community in our area is the Hispanic Biobank. Dr. Richard White joins us now. Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So earlier this month, we actually heard from a colleague of yours about certain conditions that tend to affect people in the Hispanic community more so than others. Can you remind us of what some of those conditions are? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just by way of reminder, there are several health conditions that we know occur more frequently in the Hispanic population, things such as type 2 diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, obesity, and then certain uh, cancers. Um, unfortunately, sometimes Hispanic uh, community members will present at later stage for cancer types like it's cervical cancer, breast cancer, and um, lower rates of certain cancer screenings like colonoscopy. So really a lot of important uh, health issues that are uh, fairly common um, among our Hispanic community members. Knowledge is power, of course. Can you explain what exactly is the biobank? Yeah, so the biobank, uh, Jack Saludable Biobank is the name that we're calling it. Saludable just means uh, healthy in Spanish. And um, it's really just a collection of bio samples. So that could be a blood sample, a saliva sample. These samples are stored in a secure location and really can be kept for long periods of time and used for both current research and for future uh, research purposes. Explain to us why that's so important for our local community so people have some more perspective, why it's so important. So there's some really exciting uh, discoveries and research that's going on, particularly at, at Mayo Clinic here in Florida. And um, we really, um, it's important to diversify the samples that we have in order to be able to, as scientists are doing research, making new discoveries, having a diverse sample within the biobank allows us to know that we're really um, finding new discoveries and applying data to really a broad generalized population. We've seen a significant growth in our Hispanic population, particularly here in Northeast Florida, really over the last decade um, to where we have more than 10% of our uh, community are made up of individuals that self-identify as Hispanic or Latino. And very important for our viewers who are especially interested in this, how can someone donate for Biobank? So it's really simple. Um, our Biobank, the Jack Saladable Biobank at Mayo Clinic, Florida, um, we're collecting blood samples, we're collecting saliva samples. It's really as simple as taking a Q-tip and swabbing the inside of your mouth for the saliva sample. And for the blood sample, it's the same as just going to um, have your blood drawn. If you were to have your cholesterol checked or were to have your uh, A1C for diabetes checked, a very similar process. So it's really straightforward. Is there a way for people to reach out to do that real quick? What do people need to know? Yeah, so for the Jack Salad Abde Biobank, we're interested in any adult individual, so someone who is 18 or older and self-identifies as Hispanic or Latino. All they have to do is either go to jacksaladable.com or they can contact the number, which I believe you guys are showing there um, on the screen. It's 904-953-6174. Thank you so much for your time, doctor, as always. You take care and have a great Sunday. Thank you so much. Take care.